What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this I wanted to kind of briefly uh, go over what happened in the Apple event um, that happened today. There are four uh, new products that were announced. Uh, there was the new Apple Watch Series 3, the Apple TV 4K, and then two new iPhone, or I guess three new iPhone models. So start with the Apple Watch Series 3. Uh, first of all, um, the thing that is mainly new in this device is the fact that it can connect to cellular, um, which means that you don't have to have your phone with you all the time. Um, you can leave your phone at home if you need to go run, uh, go do some groceries, and, and you can still receive texts and calls on your watch. Um, also, this means that you can stream music uh, without your phone being connected, uh, which is really cool because you can go for a run or something and have your wireless headphones and be listening to that music without having to hold your phone with you. Another thing that's new in the Apple Watch is uh, a dual core uh, CPU. It delivers 70% faster usage, um, which is a huge improvement. The next device is the Apple TV 4K, and what you can probably guess from the name is that it now supports 4K playback, which is awesome. Um, not only does it have 4K, but it also has HDR, which stands for High Dynamic Range. While 4K means more pixels, HDR means better pixels. So you're getting better detail, better color, all those little intricate details are all much better. Also, you got a two times faster uh, CPU and four times better uh, graphics. Next, you got the first two new models of the iPhone, the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus. And these are the same basic look as the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus right now. The differences are that it has a glass back now um, because it supports wireless charging. Also, the speakers are 25% louder. There are better cameras on these two devices as well. There's a larger sensor and uh, the cameras are more power efficient. On the iPhone 8 Plus, you're getting a F 1.8 and an f2.8 aperture. One of the biggest improvements in the camera on the new iPhones are the fact that you can now record in 4K at 60 frames per second and you can record in 1080 at 240 frames per second which is both double what you could do previously. And lastly you got the iPhone 10 or the iPhone X and the biggest differences in this device are the edge-to-edge -edge display which covers the whole front of the display. Um, you're also getting your wireless charging, uh, you got glass back and front. And since there's no home button, we now have Face ID. There are many more sensors on the front of the phone now that um, make a 3D model of your face and even faster than Touch ID and more secure can unlock your phone. Um, and you can do it from any angle, you don't have to be facing it like this. You can uh, do it from any angle and it'll unlock as soon as you make eye contact with the sensors, which I think is really cool. That's about it uh, at a very brief level. I definitely encourage you to go back and watch the keynote on the Apple website to get a, a deeper knowledge and uh, really see what um, is new in these devices. I just covered very surface level stuff. Um, so I definitely encourage you to go check that out. I just made a review of a portable power bank, so make sure you go check that out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.